Guys, tell us how the band met and formed the Gorillas. <coughs> oh, oh, hang on. Hair. Uh, yeah, I've got hair in my throat there. <coughs> oh. So, <coughs> what happened was, I was, uh, I was out one day on a, on a nicking spree. Uh, hoisting, we call it. Yeah, yeah, on the rob. August 15th, 1997. First time we met. Yeah, like I said, I was out, I was out robbing on a nicking spree, yeah. Right? And what I had in mind was to crash my car through the front window of this music shop and then steal a bunch of the keyboards, you know, and form a new band. It was the shop I was working in. So I crashed the car through the window and it landed straight in 2D's head. Amazing, direct hit. Knocked one of his eyes straight out. Put him in a coma immediately. I got arrested for that. Yeah? And uh, my community service, my sentence, was to look after this silly sod. I don't know what I did wrong. Obviously, I abused that position and took the opportunity to bully him to within an inch of his catatonic life. So, one time when we were mucking about in a car park in Nottingham, 2D actually went through the windscreen. Uh, and I think it was that second car accident that uh, actually brought him back round. Yeah? Because uh, it knocked his other stupid eye out. Uh, but I'll tell you what, when he stood up, wow, what an image. Tall, pretty, blue spiky hair. No eyeballs. No eyeballs. I knew that he had to be the front man. After that, everything sort of just fell into place. Yeah, I found Russell, our drummer, working in a record shop, uh, Big Rick Black's Record Shack in Soho. Everyone had heard of Russell because uh, he knew everything there was to know about hip-hop. He was the rhythm king. And also he was possessed by the undead, ghostly spirit of his dead friend, Dell. Good drummer, too. So I kidnapped him and took him over to Kong Studios, which was our uh, headquarters, our isolated recording studio HQ at the time. Yeah, all we needed right, was a guitarist. Uh, well, we did have one, Paula Carter. But she was rubbish, so we advertised for another. We stuck an ad in the music paper, NME. I can't remember exactly what we wrote. I just know it stated, no hippies. Moments later, there was a knock on the door, and there was this FedEx crate outside. Nothing more. No one there. Just a crate. We opened it up. And inside was Noodle, our guitarist. We were a band. We changed our name to Gorillas there and then, and the rest is history.